When you think of Arizona, I'm guessing your first thought is the tumbleweed rolling by a cactus in the desert. While some parts of Arizona look like this, the state, and Tucson in particular, have so much more to offer than just dry heat. As the second largest city in Arizona, Tucson is home to a unique mix of cultures, delicious food options, and a beautiful natural landscape. The city's central core is a vibrant area, but travel just a few miles outside of the city and you'll find endless outdoor space. There's more than 350 days of sunshine in Tucson each year. On warm spring days, hiking trails that end in watering holes rise in popularity. Others flock to the sky island of Mount Lemmon, where there's cooler temperatures and pine trees offer an escape from the Sonoran Desert. Closer to the city, Tumamak offers miles of views and surrounding it is the Loop a paved multi-purpose trail of more than 130 miles for bikers, horseback riders, and power walkers. Saguaro National Park straddles the east and west sides of the city with more than 91,000 acres to explore. One of my personal favorites is Seven Falls. I have to recommend Brown Mountain. It's in Tucson Mountain Park. And from there you can see uh, the Desert Museum and even the airplane graveyard in the distance. When you're ready to take a break and find a good meal, you won't need to look far. Tucson was the first U.S. city to receive the designation as a UNESCO City of Gastronomy, and restaurants here experiment with natural ingredients and flavors that fuse the region's cultural influences. Three words, Sonoran hot dog. Just trust me, people will argue about the best place to find a Sonoran hot dog, but everyone knows that Boca Tacos is the best place to get one. They also serve unique salsas every time you go, so if you're here for a long time, like school, go every week in my opinion. My personal favorite is El Checho. It's a small uh, food truck on the south side, and I would definitely recommend Many of these restaurants can be found in downtown Tucson and 4th Avenue, the two hubs of Tucson culture. Downtown Tucson offers theaters for performances and concerts, art and history museums, and energetic nightlife. 4th Avenue is known for its quirky shops during the day and bustling bars at night. You can find anything from shops selling homemade art to bars serving Tucson's famous prickly pear margaritas. Be sure to check out Hotel Congress in downtown. It's one of my favorites because they have live music and an inside and outside bar. And it's kind of got this old speakeasy type of uh, vibe to it. If you stay out past sunset, you'll begin to understand why they call Tucson the astronomy capital of the world. The mountains surrounding Tucson have the largest concentration of telescopes anywhere in the world and Mount Lemmon Sky Center provides professional astronomy experiences. University of Arizona Law is located in the heart of Tucson, just minutes from downtown and only a few miles in any direction from your favorite trails. While it may seem like the next three years should be all about academics, balancing work with fun is vital to your health and an important part of the law school experience. The city of Tucson supports a variety of fun activities to fill your weekends and time after class, so be sure to take advantage of them.